I, I think this is just an incredibly important thing for the future of life itself. Um, so, and, and there's, 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 there's both a, I, I call it the, the sort of the, 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 the defensive reason or the life insurance reason. That, that's, that's one part of it, which is that there's always some chance that something could go wrong on Earth. Uh, the dinosaurs are not around anymore. Um, so, uh, you know, we could, there could be some calamity that we, where we do ourselves in, or there's just a, there's a natural disaster. Now, I'm, I'm naturally an optimist, so I, I think the, the probability of that is low, but it is not zero. And, um, and eventually, the sun will expand. Um, it might take a few hundred million years, uh, so don't hold your breath. But eventually, uh, the sun will expand and destroy all life. So for those who really care about not just the humans, but all the life on Earth, it is very important, essential, that over the long term, that we become a multi-planet species and ultimately even go beyond the solar system and bring life with us. And you know, we, we are life stewards, life's guardians. They, you know, the, the, the creatures that we love cannot, they can't build spaceships, but we can, and we can bring them with us. <laughs> and I think that's pretty important. You know, for, for those that, that care about the environment and, and, and care about all the creatures on Earth. Um, so that's like the, 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 I would say, like the defensive or the life insurance reason for life collectively. But there's also um, an inspiring reason, which is that life can't just be about solving problems. They have to be things that inspire you, that, that move your heart, that make you glad to be, when you wake up in the morning, you're excited about the future. Um, and going out there and being a multi-planet species and being a space faring civilization and making science fiction, not fiction forever, I think that's one of those things. You know, I think we, we, that, that's just, it, that's what fires me up the most, is like, let's go out there and find out what this universe is all about. You know, are there other species out there? Uh, maybe. Um, you know, hopefully that it's. I mean, we. we I, I mean, we want to go find out what the heck's going on. <laughs> what is going on? I mean, we. You know, um, how do we get here? What's the meaning of life? Forty-two. But what? Yeah. But what's the question? Um, and um, you know, if we go out there and we explore the, the galaxy, ultimately, then we can find out some of these questions, and it would just be very exciting to do that, um, and something we can all look forward to. Um, and, and even, you know, whether somebody chooses to go or not, um, I think, you know, vicariously we can all go there, just like with Apollo, where, um, you know, only a handful of people went to the moon. But in a sense, we all went there. Humanity went there. And um, so even if somebody doesn't choose to go themselves, I think vicariously through, through others, they, they, they will go, they will understand, they will experience the universe. And... Um, I think that's incredibly fundamental to an exciting future. And that's, that's why we're doing this. So. <laughs>